Why, hello there, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Today, we have a draft suggestion in that I have to take a player. Well, I mean, the first player can be whoever I want, really. But then after that, the subsequent picks have to be a current or former teammate of that pick. Actually, I feel like I should specify that a little bit more to say each subsequent pick. So it's not like, you know, they all have to be a former or current teammate of the first pick I take. It's just that they have to be of the pre- Anyway, you'd probably get what I mean. So pick three has to be a current or former teammate of pick two, so on and so forth. Let's find out what team we're going to be using. It is the Ottawa Senators. I actually just saw a video recently of what $100 will get you at the Canadian Tire Center, the Ottawa Senators Arena, which was a pretty interesting concept. Don't think I'm forgetting about you, Jabroni. And obviously, Fantasy Draft has to be on. Player mode will leave that off. Owner mode, absolutely. Absolutely not. Let's be under the courageous assumption that I'm getting a top 10 pick. I just have that feeling. I don't know which one to go for. You know what? I'm going for seven. I'm going for, isn't that, is that Brady Kachuk's number? Because if so, that would be too perfect. Okay, pick 20. You know, I was within, <laughs> within 13. Okay, so we should pick wisely here. Huberdo would be a good one because... That would give us the current Calgary Flames roster and anybody that's on the Florida Panthers as well. Just for context, by the way, I'm not counting like junior or anything like that. It's got to be the NHL. It's actually really hyped to see Darlene up at 90 overall. Very happy for him. Yeah, because a lot of these players haven't moved like Kyle Connor, Jason Robertson, Eichel has but 10 million for a 90 overall when I could pay 5.9. I think I'm going with... Hubs on this one. I saw Kadri, but Markstrom though, 89 overall. And he has an X Factor, I believe. Yeah. Should we do it? I, I don't know. For some reason, I still have it stuck in my brain that when I take a goalie early, it never works out. But let's send it and find out what happens. So with Markstrom, we have the current Calgary Flames roster. We have Florida from like the early 2010s. And then, oh, Kadri's still there. So maybe... We should just do it because that gives us Colorado. That would also give us Toronto, possibly. I will need to get a sniper for the first line, though, eventually. Kadri, you're joining. Let's go. Gerard is a former teammate of Kadri the year they won the cup. So that could be our first defenseman. He's left-handed, 86 overall. It's a pretty good contract. Let's go for it. I can't lie, my early feelings about this team... Not good. I'm going to scoop up Andre Burakovsky. That gives us the current Kraken roster. Again, we have the option of Colorado. And on top of that, potentially some old Washington Capitals teammates like Tom Wilson. He could play on the first line. I mean, he's not a sniper, but, you know, he's got four-star shooting. That's pretty half-decent. Unfortunately, he is another left-handed defender, but... I think it's still a good option to pick up another defenseman right now, as we only have one. I suppose I'll scoop up Oshi. He is a right winger, and on top of that, a capital. So, I'm just trying to think. We could possibly find some old St. Louis teammates that he had, but I feel like that's going to be kind of difficult. We'll see. They were teammates in St. Louis. We need a centerman, and I'm pretty sure his draws is not bad. It's very good. 85. I have 1.5 million. Welcome to the team, Stasny. I also found someone else that I want to take as part of this roster. Ryan Reeves. Right winger. And this guy will add that toughness that we need to the lineup. Easy pick. According to the NHL website, Shattenkirk was on this team as well. And that is a right-handed defenseman that we need. Also, apparently Martin Brodeur was on the team that year. What a weird... Like, just going back and looking at old teams is always mind-blowing. Andre Palat played with Shatty in the 2019-2020 season with the Tampa Bay Lightning. So there we go. We're moving on up. Barclay Goudreau was also on that team. He could maybe play center or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But either way, let's go. All right, I found a pretty good one. Jumbotron has not been picked in quite a while. And we're going to change that today. Him and Goudreau played on the Sharks together. Paul and Thornton were teammates in Toronto for one season. So let's go ahead and make that selection as we do need defensemen. I also forgot that David Riddick was ever on the Leafs. But according to this roster, he was. So there you go. Our backup goalie is done. Nate Schmidt on the Winnipeg Jets. So is Riddick currently. So let's go ahead and make that happen. Why am I starting to feel like this team might actually be okay? And I judged it too soon. I don't know. We'll find out when we go edit the lines. And a former Capitals teammate 
and Mojo decides to show up on my screen and you think I'm not gonna draft him? Hathaway and Mojo play together right now, so that will be our final forward. And now we just need a defenseman and I already have one in mind. I'm just trying to think of what handedness we need. Where are you, TVR? Should be here somewhere. We do have $8 million of cap space though. Is there anyone else? So I do need a right-handed defender. Gotta keep that into consideration. You know what, whatever. One of them can play on their offside. I'm drafting Giordano who played on the Calgary Flames with Hathaway. Our team's done. It's not a young team by any standard, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get the draft challenge completed. There's an overlook. Let's go put it together. The cool thing about this kind of draft is that you could do it 10 times and end up with completely different teams every single time. Because realistically, it all just stems from the first pick you take. So I don't know what's going on here, but I like it. I almost don't want to do best lines because I don't want the guy to screw it up for me. Also, uh, who are you? I found the imposter. Let's throw Jumbo Joe in there. That's more like it. I'm a little bit scared to look at our defense because I feel like if our offensive chemistry is this good, the defense, it can't be. There's no way. Well, there's our offense. We do have a superstar in Huberdo. And then, you know, our first line overall is just good. I still kind of want to do that, but that's a full plus five with these guys. Hopefully they can create some magic. We do have a plus one on the second line. Stasny, great on the draw. Defense, let's find out. That's way better than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to move Nate Schmidt up to play with Orlov. They are both left-handed, but that gets a plus two and this stays at a zero. So why not? Plus Nate Schmidt is one overall better. And in net, we have none other than Jacob Markstrom. Got an X factor. Four abilities following suit. And we have David Riddick backing him up. Let's go. Obviously, I have to say Huberto gets the most points. Let's say he gets a grand total of 86. Yeah. For some reason, I have faith in this team to make playoffs all of a sudden. So I'm going to say they do that with 44 wins. Let's go here. Come on, Senators. Great start. We're doing well, but like not great, you know? Never mind. We're starting to really pull away here with a couple of dubs. So let's keep this up. I'm really just trying to think of what our team is lacking. Like Oshie's not ideally a first line right winger, but it kind of works. So our first line's solid. Second line with Stasny... You know, the wingers are good. Stasny could probably be a third liner, but he's got good draws. We have toughness. Defensively, we don't have a superstar, but we have depth. The whole defensive core is pretty solid. And in net, we have Markstrom. So in my head, yeah, we should be a pretty decent team. Second in the division, you know. Oh, wow. Tampa Bay drafted a super team over there. Look at them. They are miles ahead of everybody else. 34 wins at the trade deadline. We are second in the Atlantic with 73 points. Let's find out who's available at this year's trade deadline, although we're not going to be making any moves. Just taking a quick peek. You know, we're window shopping here. Patrick Kane, I feel like he's always on the block, like every time. Rory is there as well. We have Sagan, Teravainen. Okay, so yeah, we're not making any moves, but this is a pretty big trade deadline. A lot of big names available. Finish the season strong, Senators. We got this. Easy. Light work. Ain't nothing but a peanut. Okay, four losses in a row. Might as well make it five. Go on, six, seven. I love this simulation engine with all my heart. It's actually wild. <laughs> Whatever. Wait, we missed playoffs? We were second in the division. Like that whole time still. Oh, you're kidding me. You're actually joking. Look at this disgrace. Loss, 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 loss. All <laughs> How does that happen? I'd love to know. Oh, apparently we're facing Colorado in the playoffs and Tampa Bay and Philly facing them all. Tampa did get the President's Trophy 120 points. They had Line, Barkov, and Konechny. Okay. Felino with Rupe and Toffoli. Merzlikens and Pavel and Nett. Ellis Brodine. Okay, yeah, they have a good defensive core. They just have a good all-around team. 17, 18, 19 all qualified, which means 14, 15, and 16 did not. That's us. We were 14. Underwhelming performance from these two. I mean, they were plus 20 and plus 18 respectively, but still, that's not going to fly. 73 points? Do something. Gerard with 57 though. I'm happy with that. Goaltenders. Can't be mad at Markstrom. 267, 34 wins. He had four shutouts on the year. Even Riddick played well. Thatcher led the league with 46 Ws. He had a 915 save percentage. Four shutouts. Seven from Leonard, who had a 918. Great year from him. Victor Hedman would be your defensive leader at 77 points. Kale McCarr puts up an outstanding number of points. 
72 is just such a beautiful number. And your Art Ross winner is Jack Eichel, the man that I could have drafted. I was actually looking to potentially draft him and then decided no, because 10 million, but I should have just done it, apparently. Oh, well, I mean, he's playing with Mitchell Marner, so... Yeah, obviously those two are going to light it up together. Robertson had 98 points. Actually, Jack's the only one to break 100 this year, too. McDavo puts up 94. Cooch, 92. Matthews, 91. 50 goals. It looks like Eichel might take the Rocket Richard as well. What a year from him. Simming past the Senator-less playoffs here, which we do not deserve to be in anyway after that disgraceful end of the season. The Mighty Ducks of Anaheim taking it home. Let's go see... Who they had on their squad. They were sixth in the league for the regular season. And they had John Carlson playing with Cam Fowler on defense. Klingberg with Doomlin. Nice. McKenzie and Nett. Mc oh, they had McDavid. Okay, so enough said. McKenzie had a 290 GAA and a shutout in the playoffs. Varlamov had two. Actually, so did Flurry. Merzlikens, three from Samsonov. Dougie is your defensive leader for the playoffs. 24 points. Carlson right there, Kale McCarr up there as well. Holy crap, what a playoff run for this guy. Gino, gonna put up 36 points. He's playing with McDavid, I would imagine, so that explains a lot. How did they get JT Miller, McDavid, and Malkin? And they have John Carlson too, don't they? How does that even happen? I'm just gonna blaze through the awards here because I can't be asked, and we already know who won most of them anyway, but I will be on the lookout for an Ottawa Senators logo no, not gonna happen. There's your playoff tree. That's how the Senator list playoffs went down. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, no sweeps though. Not one single sweep happened in these playoffs. So that's cool. Well, thank you for that suggestion. That was a cool one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave other draft suggestions down below and who knows, maybe I'll use yours. Also, subscribe or your favorite team is gonna miss the playoffs. All right, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.